Friday, May 3rd, in the Upper School Library, the RICE, short for Research and Independent Study Exposition, took place. Students from different areas of research show to the public what they have worked in all year long. Hi, I'm Christina Palmer. I'm the Library Director here at St. Stephen's and I coordinate our RISE program, which is our Research and Independent Study Expo. So for RISE is a chance for our seniors who have done independent work or different kinds of research projects to go and share their work with their peers and their teachers. So we have one Capstone Scholar this year, 10 Ocean Academy students, five Global Scholars, and three independent study students, as well as profiles of the students in our Visual Arts Conservatory. So I work with the teachers who sponsor the students. Uh, Ms. Mishevitz does a ton with it throughout the year with the Marine 3 Ocean Academy students and Ms. Grady takes the lead with the Visual Arts Conservatory and my role is really to bring it together and until we get the STEAM Center to provide a space for students to um, have the RISE program. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I like about it is that there's not just one way to be a St. Stephen's student and so it shows the different ways our three independent study students have been able to share their passions in the sciences and for Elena working with Capstone that she was able to spend the entire year looking at English and the field of online gaming and put that together into a very large paper and a whole new framework for analyzing the medium and so it shows underclassmen and teachers all of the things that are happening outside of the traditional classroom. Hi, I'm Julia Craig. Um, I'm part of the Marine Science 3 Honors Program. And for my RISE presentation, I investigated the consumption of plastic by fish in local waterways. So for me, I'm really interested in uh, marine pollution. And I've done my Girl Scout Gold Award about marine pollution and everything. And I want to study marine science in college. So the RISE Program is really unique um, because as a high school student, we're given the opportunity to do a complete research project before even leaving high school. So I got to collect my own data, write an entire research paper, all before leaving St. Stephen. The hardest part about my project was writing an entire procedure from scratch and also collecting a big enough sample size to collect good data. I'm Allison Falkins and this is my RISE project on my independent study astronomy. It's definitely impacted me a lot because I knew I was interested in astronomy but it's allowed me to look deeper into the subject and actually know if it's what I want to do when I go to college or not. And I think it's a great part of St. Stephen's because it gives students a little bit more individuality on what they want to learn about. My project personally was data that was coded and gotten and I made a simulation from an exoplanet orbiting WASP-52, which is a star. Hi, I'm Alina Baird. I'm a Capstone Scholar. I did my project on tabletop role-playing games, which are games kind of like most famous of which is Dungeons and Dragons, and I was looking at how people tell stories through them. It really taught me to be very independent with my work. I hadn't done anything, a research project this big before. With the way Capstone works, I had two periods by myself to just look at anything I wanted with pretty much no guidance. And I had to really learn how to be like internally motivated and go after what I wanted and also learn how to budget my time. And I think getting that independence early is really good for students to have before they go off to college because that's a lot of what college research is like. Um, I chose it because it was a really personal interest of mine that I thought was very intriguing and because I wouldn't have a chance to like talk about it in an academic context and another opportunity like no one was going to be asking me in my English classes to talk about Dungeons and Dragons so it was just a chance for me to look at something that I was interested in with like full freedom. The hardest part for me was probably time management because there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to look at and maybe just like didn't have time to and it was really overwhelming. I wrote a really long paper for my project so I had to figure out how to like budget time and get the whole thing done. Um, I'm Kate Barron and I'm a Global Scholar at St. Stephen's and I presented a Global Scholars portfolio. Um, as a student here I think it allowed me to have a broader global perspective and it allowed me to um, just really like understand the value of listening and like just different perspectives. Um, my project basically had two focuses, um, environmental conservation and the Spanish language and culture. I chose those two focuses because one, I'm very passionate about our environment and so it allowed me to learn way more about that and continue my passion and also um, I chose the Spanish language because I've been studying it since first grade so it's also something I'm passionate about.